Hi guys, we are back with April 1964. Now, not a lot happened in April, so just to warn you, this is going to be kind of short. But um, we start the month off on the 4th with the Beatles song, Can't Buy Me Love, becomes number one. So do you see how we keep having Beatles songs as the number one song? So it continues into April. So we are being inundated by the Beatles right now. But on the 5th, a little bit of sad news, General Douglas McCarthy dies. I wanted to check out how old he was. I forgot. But anyway, that's 1964. He lived a while after World War II, so it's all good for him. But on the 7th, Russell Crowe was born. So that's pretty happy, right? Because... I don't know if you remember this, Kyle, but when you got your um, senior picture taken, the woman thought you were a Russell Crowe lookalike. So that was kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if you are, but she thought so. And you kind of like that. So on the 12th, Arnold Palmer wins the Masters. That's pretty cool. I always wondered what era he was playing golf in. Now I know. It's 60s. So that's pretty fun. But on the 13th, was the Oscars. Now I was thinking April 13th, that is really late to have the Oscars, but I looked it up and, and this is about when they were doing the Oscars. So, okay, ready? Best movie called Tom Jones. I looked it up, tried to watch some of it, not that good. So I don't know what it was up against, but the fact that Tom Jones won, don't bother. It's starring like nobody, it's a British comedy, I didn't think it was any good. But this is pretty cool. The best actor was Sidney Portier. And he won it for Lilies of the Field. And he was the first black actor to win an Oscar. So that was really cool. And very historical for that time. And I'm sure everybody was paying attention to that. Then the best actress went to Patricia Neal for the movie HUD which I never heard of also, but I looked it up and it was co-starring Paul Newman. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I really think I'm going to put that on the list of movies to watch. On the 15th, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge opens. I don't know if you've ever driven across that bridge, but I'm not really scared of driving across bridges, but that bridge is pretty scary. And you know, they have a service now that there's a well, I should say, there is a guy, I saw a YouTube video, that he made a business out of driving people across the bridge. That's how scary it is. He, like, takes their car, drives them across the bridge, they pay him. He waits there, somebody else pays him to drive him back across the bridge. Because people don't want to drive across that bridge. That's pretty wild. So, if you're going to be scared of bridges to drive across, that one's probably pretty scary. And I think it's because it's really narrow too. I, I don't know. I know it's really long, but I think it's also really narrow and people who get freaked out by bridges just don't even want to deal with it. But anyway, then there's just sporting news to cover. And the 25th, the Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Detroit Red Wings for the Stanley Cup. Went all seven games. You know how much I love, love, love ice hockey. So that would have been a lot of fun. And then on the 26th, the Boston Celtics beat the San Francisco Warriors uh, four games to one. So that only went five games. And you know what? I didn't even know that the Warriors were a team in the 60s. So I thought that was pretty cool. But really, nothing that monumental happened. Um, nothing with the Vietnam War. I looked that up. Nothing really happened there. So um, it was a pretty quiet month. But for my parents, not so much. First of all, little do they know that in two years they're going to have my brother. So she, you know, here she is dealing with my pregnancy. And little does she know that in two years she'd be having my brother. She'd have two children at the age of 18. But I'm assuming by now, since they got married in June, that the people are starting to know. Are, they're starting to tell people and um, I will get into that more for the next video of what happens with that but just know that this was probably not a very fun month for her but anyway so that was April 1964 we still have the Beatles 
and we had the Oscars and basically Russell Crowe was born. Awesome. But anyway, for now, bye.